What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, we got to talk about something pretty alarming. This feels very much like a video I would do a few years ago. I feel like I've almost, like, you know, tamed it all down, but no, this makes me upset. This makes me mad. And this is actually something that I've seen spreading online. I didn't actually see it directly from the originator, you know, the original account. Now, I know, you know, the account lives of TikTok, right? Like, I understand what's been said and, and the controversy there. Doesn't, to me, doesn't matter, I guess, like, what kind of thing they're pushing I want to look at the clip itself I want to look at why I think it's an issue I don't care why somebody else pushes it as an issue right to kind of get it started ultimately that's exactly what it is right they get the conversation started and they kind of leave it alone so this is a developer for the Black Panther game at EA so this is something you know I even tweeted this is on EA EA needs to make a statement here I, I fully believe it and I think they probably will to be honest with you this is bad this is something something that's going to have repercussions. And honestly, I feel like you could sue over something like this. We'll see. But this is something that they're going to need to come out and whether it leads to this person no longer being at the company or or just changing that mentality. But it's a pretty severe mentality this person has. So, all right, what are we dealing with here? Well, uh, Danny is the first name. I don't know the last name. Non-binary game developer. Now, none of that matters, right? I think that's maybe the libs of TikTok, you know, adding it on. Doesn't matter. What I'm going to do, let's just let the clip play it for itself. This individual says some things that are, you know, shockingly bad. And I think it's better for them to just speak for themselves versus me trying to say what I think they said. So here you go. I have a team of 21 right now uh, for Validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for indie games. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly, pe mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, and I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating safe, unsafe environments. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. I am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something may be okay, but it was really a microaggression. And no one wants to deal with that while they're trying to make a game that they love. Okay, so um, they're not going to hire white people. That's that's the point here, right? They have a team of, I believe, 21 people, they said, right? Um, so they're the leader, team of 21, working on this Black Panther game. Now, I don't care what studio it is. I don't care how big the team is. And here's here's the most basic way of putting this, right? I think this is pretty pretty darn simple. If you were to reverse the race, what would happen to you? And that is my reasoning for why this is a total disaster, right? If you come out there and you say the exact same thing, but you replace white for black, you are screwed. And you should be. You shouldn't be screwed because it doesn't matter which race you're talking. I think that's where these people just are completely brain dead. If you replace the race of white people and you say those things about a different race, you know what would happen. It would be right to happen to you. You would be fired. You'd be kicked off the platform. You actually, yes, that is actually another thing. You'd be kicked off whatever social media platforms that this individual is on. Now, this was like a presentation, so I, I don't necessarily know, you know the ramifications there but they'd be kicked off that they'd be fired they absolutely would if you said this the other way around you would a thousand percent be fired and to be honest with you yeah i think this person should be fired um unless you can change that mentality like okay i'm willing to give them a chance and for them to say all right i was just completely wrong on my ideology there but that feels like something kind of ingrained in this person's spirit and i i don't know like Again, how can you say how can you say something like that that you're not going to hire it and I'm not going to say all white people but some white people, you know, they think this or that. Are are you kidding me? And this is a person Actually, you know what? Let me stop there. Why is this even a thing? Why are we even talking about this? Are, shouldn't you be like, now again, I'm not going to pretend like developers don't talk. I'm not going to pretend like developers don't do these kind of, you know, conferences, but you should not like, <laughs> do you have to talk about this specific subject at the conference? Is that really something you need to get across that? Yeah, we're kind of diverse. And don't they say that in the beginning, how, how diverse they are? Well, not really, I guess, because you're excluding an entire race. So I guess that is diverse. But again, that's, that's the issue. That's what these people for whatever reason believes just because it's okay just because they think it's okay right uh reverse so i don't know i i hate this stuff 
This is what we talk about from time to time. I guess I don't speak on it too, too much, you know, in these videos, but honestly, it's because these are gaming channels primarily, and I just want good games. I don't care who you are. I don't care your race. I don't care your gender. I don't care what you believe in, re religious. I don't care any of that stuff. You are specifically there. And again, like, I'm not, I'm not pretending like some of these people I think online that you can't like you can't speak right like if you're good at one thing now i think some people like open their mouth too much or think that they're like uh the entire force of one thing like they have to speak up not true not true but i'm not saying like you have to keep your mouth shut entirely you can't have beliefs you can't have feelings or no you absolutely can right like everybody does even if you even if you don't think somebody does i mean i'm sure they do it's not that it's when you're there to make a game you should be i mean this is not hard you're supposed to be looking for the best talent. If you're excluding an entire race, simply be... And I mean, again, like, isn't this something that we've been saying for a long, long time? And it's just now that... I guess now it's just white people, right? But it's the basic idea. So you're excluding a race, number one. And number two, so I guess you're not hiring based off talent because you're excluding any kind of talent that comes from that group. So you could be the most talented person there, and that could be the most talented individual of the entire group. But because of your race, the talent level doesn't matter. And again, if you said that and you replaced white for black, you would be absolutely kicked off the planet. You'd be kicked out of the job. You'd be fired. You would never get hired again. And, uh, well, I'm not saying, again, that should happen. I think there should absolutely be a meeting with this individual and they need to change that mentality. And if they don't change the me that mentality within like the second, you don't give them like a day. They change the mentality right away. You have them prove it to you somehow. And then if they can't do it, they're gone. There's no ifs, ands, or buts because again, it should be that way for, and I, I would say this, for anything, sex, race, anything. If you're not going to play along, if you're not in that job, if you're going to be a lead you know, of your team and you're not looking for the best talent, you're looking for race, why, why are you a team leader? And you know what? Again, that goes on EA. Why in God's name is this person in charge of anybody if all they do is they look for the skin color and that's what matters to them? Why in God's name are they leading people? That's not a leader. That's not a leader. That's not some that deserves any kind of respect from anyone including their own race doesn't deserve any kind of respect so I, I don't know what's going on there but again that's why I say EA you, you're not going to skirt this especially with the, the way social media is you're not going to be able to get away with it like this is now a known thing we've had people being fired for far less than this this needs to be sorted out and I hope that EA does something about this or you know issues a statement they got to they apps and I think that again I really I believe these people or this company, I think they will. So let me know. That felt good to kind of get that out of my chest. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure as always you're subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.